Good morning, Trinity, and happy Wednesday in the Word with Alyssa. Today, I'm going to be reading some nuggets from Dr. Sones' book, The Great Sending. And if you're in Pastor Lentz's Bible study on Sunday mornings, um, you guys are currently working through this. And as a staff, we also are working through this. So I'm going to be reading a couple nuggets from chapter 9, Calling of the Disciples, Apostles to Christ's Mission. He, Jesus, brings people into relationship with him and into a partnership in his mission, fishing for men. And I love this um, story because it gives us a great example of Jesus going out boldly and calling his disciples to follow him. And I love this because it resonates so much with my own personal life and what it means to go out boldly in faith for proclaiming Christ's kingdom and the ministry opportunities that I've encountered um, where I have felt very unequipped for. And and God, are you sure I'm, I'm the person? Um, maybe you should pick another person because they are going to do a much better job and they have the gifts for that. But how in scripture and in the lives of his followers that we are called <laughs> in, in a lot of different times and spaces to be uncomfortable, to go out and to share his word. Maybe that's in a new ministry capacity that you have never thought of before. Maybe that's helping out with a new ministry that's happening in the church. And you kind of question, I don't know if I have the gifts for that or the time for that or the abilities to do that. And then I'm going to flip over. It says, like Christ, we are called to make disciples, to mend, repair, restore the nets, to leave our own comfort zones and go where the world works, lives, plays, and eats. And so my encouragement for you today on this Wednesday is to boldly go out in faith and to see where those opportunities um, that the Lord has laid before you. And um, in our own humanness and our own sinfulness, we, we question that. But knowing that um, God equips us for where he has called us to serve, and how incredible that is. And to willingly take on that challenge and how we can bear great fruit for the kingdom of God when we're willing to say yes. And it's hard. Um, I often see my own reluctancy to want to boldly step out and to be so scared of what's going to happen. Um, how am I going to get there? There are a lot of questions that fill my mind. Um, whereas I need to trust in the Lord that you have presented this to me, you've trusted me with this, and I'm going to go out. It might be a mess, but I'm going to go out and do it for the Lord and to bring the good news to humans I may have never interacted with or in different areas that I would have never dreamed of in a million years. To boldly answer the calling, come follow me and I will make you fishers of men.